Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your location news update. Hi, I'm Allie Stein with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini University. And I'm Ryan Brong and this is your Loquitur Media News Update. After almost a week of deliberating and trying to come to an agreement, the SEPTA strike is over and there is now a five-year deal in place. According to SEPTA board chairman, the deal provides wage increases, pension improvements, and maintains health care coverage levels while addressing rising costs. But what does this mean for regular SEPTA riders? A rise in fare. Every three years, fares increase slightly, so we will be seeing that increase around July 2017. Although SEPTA has not yet released the specific amount the fare will go up, you can expect your train fare to be a couple of dollars extra within the next year. The presidential election has come to an end, and Donald Trump will be named the 45th President of the United States. As this show is being recorded, Hillary Clinton is winning the popular vote, but Donald Trump has won the projected Electoral College vote. Trump will be the first president with no military or political experience. Have you wondered what the Disability Resource Center on Cabrini's campus offers students? Well, take a look at this video to find out. So when Cabrini students are accepted and they have a disability, they come to me to meet to discuss getting accommodations. So an accommodation is something that's provided to the student to level the playing field for them when they're learning in the classroom. So for example, if a student has dyslexia, which means they have challenges with reading, we provide an accommodation with audio textbooks. So I meet with the student and then I create a, a letter. This is called a visa and it stands for Verified Individualized Services and Accommodations. And it, the items that are checked on here are the accommodations that the student is qualified to use. And this is provided to their instructors. Which, but the top word here is confidential. It doesn't state why the student has this letter because that, in fact, is, an, is confidential information. Our students are Cabrini students. There happen to be a Cabrini student who happens to have a disability. And there's no shame involved with that at all. We help them learn how to advocate for themselves. I also do training with the faculty to help them understand um, different ways of teaching students who may present with some challenges. Our diverse campus includes students who have some physical or learning or psychological challenges. Um, so this department touches all aspects of Cabrini. We want to make sure the campus is accessible. Um, for example, you see we have automatic door openers. While we all benefit from those, they're essential for a person who perhaps uses a wheelchair. So um, I'm very much in touch with everyone from housing, public safety, um, even in the cafeteria, <laughs> students who have some challenges with food. So um, this department is very well supported by our administration and I think the number of students we work with speaks to the reputation of Cabrini, that we're very inclusive and accommodating and the students can be very successful. Well, you know, I'm glad we have a center like that on campus to help students who need it most. On November 15th, Cabrini will be celebrating its annual Cabrini Day. This day is meant to honor St. Francis Xavier Cabrini and her dedication to the education of the heart. Students, faculty, and staff participate in a day filled with activities and topics such as diversity, social justice, inclusion, and reimagining education. Students participate in this day by picking one theme and providing a short educational project that highlights their topic of choice. The Cabrini Day agenda can be found on Cabrini's website. And for more information on the event itself, email questions to cabriniday at cabrini.edu. Cabrini recently held its second annual Visionaries Gala. Honorees were recognized and given awards, all while raising money for Cabrini. One of the highlights of the night was a $2 million donation to the school by Tom Nerney. In return, Nerney will receive the naming rights to the brand new Dixon Center Pavilion. Thanks for tuning in to News on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Locator Media. I'm Allie Stein. And I'm Ryan Braun. Have a great week, Cabrini.